Business Leadership South Africa has slammed government's National Health Insurance Bill. BLSA CEO Busi Mavuso says a partnership between government and the private sector is necessary for the provision of quality health care for all. But the NHI in its current form will leave South Africans worse off in a system where state health care becomes impossible. And if you think about it, private health care provision uh, will effectively shut down. Mavuso joins us now for more on this. Uh, a warm welcome to you. Let, let's start right there. When we talk about what this potentially threatens, what would you say? How would you say this is threatening, Mambusi? Yeah, thank you very much, William. I thought you were still mid-sentence. Apologies for that. I, I think the biggest issue for, for us when it comes to the system that they are proposing is this notion that they actually want to impose of a single-payer model in which government is the only buyer of healthcare services for its citizens. It is not going to be efficient. It means that it is going to relegate the private health uh, insurance uh, market to only complementary health care that is not covered by the state scheme. But also, a single payer model, given the shocking state of our public health care, where there has been a deterioration of care quality in most provinces, as was condemned by the outgoing health ombud, Professor Malhapur Mahoba, is going to be disastrous. The prof was very clear that our health care system is not ready for a national health insurance system, so it's just not going to work. I think the system also, when you look at it, it seriously undermines the principles of competition and patient choice, which are important in healthcare, when you have competition, you reduce wastage. When you have competition, you spare innovation. When you have competition, you drive insurers and healthcare providers to cater to patient demands. As a single buyer model, it means that the system is not going to be able to be held accountable. It seriously is going to interfere with accountability. But I think it just most importantly puts patients in a situation where they will not be able to choose their healthcare uh, uh, service providers. So so we are seeing government wanting to move the country back to the monopoly model that has already failed in the areas of electricity, that has already failed in the areas of ports, that has already failed in the areas of freight, of freight rail. And it doesn't make sense to say why would we want to take our healthcare system to a model that has already failed in so many areas. And I think that is the biggest gripe from the business community that you are sitting in a situation where government wants to fix something that is not broken. So we are not saying that we should not introduce the NHI. Let's introduce the NHI, but that doesn't mean destroying and decimating the private healthcare system, which is what this model proposes. Government can introduce this thing, but it doesn't mean that it actually needs to actually uh, uh, undermine what is currently working at the moment. And I think that is precisely what the, 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 the biggest issue with the current proposed form of NHI is, William. And if this goes ahead, Busi, obviously the disparity that exists in South Africa currently, you have a community of South Africans who do not necessarily have access to great health care as it is. Um, so if this goes ahead, those communities would be further impacted by this in some way, would they not? They are going to be further impacted because... It, it, I mean, the finance minister has even said, number one, that we are not going to be able to afford this. So it means that as much as we are currently complaining that our public health care system is disastrous, people are going to be subjected to worse. So the format that has been proposed is going to be hugely expensive, number one. It is going to draw resources out of the rest of government and the services it provides. It is going to increase the tax burden on all of us. It may mean that we are going to see, uh, see certain taxes increasing because government is going to have to try and see how they raise more money but also when you're sitting in an environment where you know there's been so much systemic and endemic corruption you know there is just not trust that the funds that are actually going to be uh, 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 collected for the nhi are actually going to be uh, utilized effectively you know so on the one hand, you are destroying the private healthcare system, and on the other hand, you are going to fail 
to provide a public health care system that works. And I think that is the biggest issue, to say that there are countries where the two models are working hand in hand, where there is a blended private and public health care service system. Why is government not opting for that? Why would they want to destroy a system that perfectly works? How easy is it going to be for us to be able to attract investment? How easy is it going to be for us to be able to attract experts and the skills that we want to attract into the country? when you are going to subject them to a public system that is going to be disastrous. So I think government is going to have to carefully think about this because I think what they are proposing at the moment is just not possible. But besides, we just don't have the money to fund it. And just from where you sit, Busi, what has been the objection from the business and private sector on this matter, just broadly speaking? So I, I, I think that the biggest issue that I've just highlighted is precisely the issue of the single payer model. You know that you're giving too much power you know, to government and you're giving too much power to the minister and it's actually not going to, 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 to end well. And we don't believe that it's actually going to be efficient. And I think that is what in the entire system. So as I'm saying, we are not saying that government should not introduce the NHI. We are just saying that, you know, it, it, it cannot do so, you know, by imposing the single payer model. Let's try and find a system which still allows for competition. Let's try and find a system that doesn't interfere with accountability. Let's find a system that doesn't remove the buying decision from the, from, 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 from the patient. Let's find a system which doesn't put patients in a situation where they will not be able to choose their health uh, care uh, their healthcare service providers. Let's find a system that other countries have found, you know, where they deliver universal coverage that benefits from the principles of competition. And South Africa should be able to do that. You know, it should not be a monopoly system because a, a monopoly system in the public sector space has failed in so many areas so it doesn't make sense that government should actually want to take our healthcare system there you know the backbone of this country in terms of what still works you know is the private healthcare system so why would you actually want to decimate that and destroy that you know in the spirit of the nhi the nhi doesn't mean the destruction should not mean rather the destruction of the private healthcare system it should rather mean mean the enhancement of what already exists and the improvement, you know, of providing better services, you know, to the majority of the citizens of this country. And that is not how government is proposing it at the moment. Thank you for that clarity, uh, Busi. Just before I let you go, I'd like your comment on this. I mean, um, the new amendment bill, right? We, we know that the DA has submitted um, and they, w they are saying they want to demonstrate that the term numerical targets used by the Act is a misnomer and that in reality, the Act sets rigid racial quotas for four different job levels across 18 uh, economic sectors. Um, what would you, how would you respond to that as business uh, leadership South Africa? So I think that submission... Uh, we seem to be having a connection problem there with Mambusi. Uh, Mavuso, we're going to move on to this.